Hello, second grade students. I'm Mr. Lucero with another class with your book American Think, a presentation plus number one from Cambridge University Press. So, we're going to continue studying uh, our book. So, in this time, you have Unit 9, The Wonders of the World. No? We have some objective like functions. Uh, paying compliments, talking about the weather, above grammar, comparative adjective, can, can, for ability, superlative adjective, and what about vocabulary, geographical features, the weather, and phrases with with. Okay, now, here, uh, I have the first activity for you, okay, it's a reading activity, an amazing place. Now, let's see. Look at this uh, photo. What is this photo? In what part of the world could be this photo? Could be in Peru, in the United States, in the United Kingdom, could be in Africa. No, there are many possibilities. All, the, all your answers are right. Well, let's talk about animals. Okay, let's talk about animals. What animals uh, can live in this place. Let's imagine it for me. It's the it's Africa. No, what animals can live in this place? Could be the giraffe. Could be elephants. Could be the lion. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Uh, for example, work with a partner. Wearing number three. Work with a partner. Working pairs. Look at the animals on your list. What countries do you think of? So, the idea of this is to create a list of animals, of course, in English, and then tell me where the animals are from. For example, if I say llama, llama comes from eh, Peru, the Andes. Here I have panda. Pandas come from China. If I say kangaroos, Ah, kangaroos come from uh, Australia. So, you are going to create a list and then you are going to tell me where are the animals from. You find spiders all over the world. Yes, it's, it is right. Like flies, no? Flies and many other animals. For example, dogs and cats. You can find dogs and cats all over the world, no? Now let's continue with number four. Work with a partner or working pairs, look at a photo again and answer these questions. Here I have six questions. I'm going to zoom it. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Here I have six questions. Number one. What do the photos show? What do the photos show? Number two, where do these uh, people live? Number three, what do you think they eat? Number four, what dangers are there in this place? Number five, what do these people know a lot about? And number six, what's interesting for tourists about this place? Okay, let's start with number one. What do the photos show? Could be a forest. Let's check the photo. Could be the forest. It's a possibility. No, it's a possibility. No, here are the pictures. Could be a desert. It's another possibility. Could be uh, the jungle. Well, you will tell me. Okay. Now let's continue with picture number two. Oh, sorry. Question number two. Where do these people live? We can we can talk about a country, a continent. Okay. In your opinion, cheetah, snakes, people hunting. Where are these people from? Could be from America? It's a possibility. 
could be from Australia. It's another possibility. But in Australia, are there cheetahs? I don't think so. What about Africa? The continent? It's another possibility. Well, you try to analyze and then you are going to answer. Number three, what do you think they eat in your opinion class? What do you think these people eat? They eat sopa seca. They eat arroz con pollo. They eat tallarines. Yes or no? Well, you will tell me. Okay? Let's continue with the next question. Number four. What dangers are there in the place? Okay, remember they are in the jungle, no? They are in Africa. So, what dangers are there in this place? Maybe wild animals, not wild, like, uh, like for example, lions, tigers, snakes, etc. Okay, they are very dangerous animals. Number five, what do these people know about, a lot about? What do these people know a lot about? Mm -hmm. They know a lot about cooking. They know a lot about, I don't know, the, the mountains. No, they know about the desert. They know about wild animals. Let's continue. Okay, remember, you have a different answer. There's no problem, you can tell me. Next, number six. What's interesting for tourists about this place? What's interesting for tourists? They can, they can see native uh, people. No. They can see wild animals. Wild. Wild means salvajes, no? Wild animals. They can see people without technology. It's another possibility. Or you can see a smartphone, a tablet, a laptop. No. Okay. Now let's continue. Well, we've also done number one, two, three, and four. In here, in number five, says read and listen the article. Mark the statements T true. F false. Correct the false information in your notebook. Okay, here I have the audio. Okay, remember there are two pages. Okay, page 84 and 85. Okay, we're going to listen uh, the activity. Are you ready? Okay. An amazing place. They eat wild animals, plants, berries, nuts, and insects. They hunt with bows and arrows. There are lots of dangerous snakes, spiders, and scorpions. There are lions, leopards, cheetahs, and hyenas. It's one of southern Africa's hottest places, and there is often no water. Then they have to get their water from plants, for example, from desert melons. When they are sick, there are no hospitals. The people have to get their medicine from plants, too. They are the San, the last people living in the Kalahari. The San people have another name, bush people. Their lifestyle is very simple, but they know more about animals and plants than most people do. The San people live in small groups of 25 to 50. They live in huts, little houses that they make from wood and grass. There are no schools for the children. Children learn from the older people in the group. There are lots of things they have to learn so that they can live in a dangerous place. Excuse me. When I change the page, the audio stopped. Once again, please. Excuse me. An amazing place. They eat wild animals, plants, berries, nuts, and insects. They hunt with bows and arrows. There are lots of dangerous snakes, spiders, and scorpions. There are lions, leopards, cheetahs, and hyenas. It's one of southern Africa's hottest places, and there is often no water. 
Then they have to get their water from plants, for example, from desert melons. When they are sick, there are no hospitals. The people have to get their medicine from plants, too. They are the San, the last people living in the Kalahari. The San people have another name, bush people. Their lifestyle is very simple, but they know more about animals and plants than most people do. The San people live in small groups of 25 to 50. They live in huts, little houses that they make from wood and grass. There are no schools for the children. Children learn from the older people in the group. There are lots of things they have to learn so that they can live in a dangerous place like the Kalahari. In the evenings, the groups of people often sit around a fire and tell stories. Many of the stories are about animals and how to hunt them. The Kalahari is a big area of bushland in southern Africa. It has two parts. There is less rain in the southern part than there is in the northern part, so the south is drier. There are fewer plants and animals there, and it's a lot more difficult for people to live. But when it rains at the end of the summer, the land becomes greener and more beautiful. For a few weeks, there are millions of little flowers and even butterflies. But soon the grass and the bushes get dry and turn brown. Then life becomes more difficult again for people and animals. Every year, thousands of tourists from all over the world visit the Kalahari. They love driving around the bushland in open jeeps. They love watching the wild animals. Their guides are often San Bushmen, and the tourists love listening to their stories about the wonders of the Kalahari. The tourists stay in small huts called lodges. They have comfortable beds and showers, but there is no electricity in the huts. When they go out of their hut, they have to be very careful. Sometimes there are lions or leopards around. Okay, class. Uh, the idea is to answer true or false according about what you listen to. Okay? For example, listen, read, and choose. The Bosch people always get their water from plants. True or false? Remember, they're in the Kalahari, and the Kalahari is a desert. Okay, true. Number two. When the some people are sick, they get medicine from the hospital. Are there hospitals? No, that is false. Number three. The Bash people teach children important things about living in the Kalahari. Yes. Okay. The north of the Kalahari is uh, wetter than the south. Wet weather, más húmedo. Uh -huh. Many some people today work with tourists. Yes. A vacation in the Kalahari is never dangerous. It's no dangerous. With lions, cheetahs, hyenas, eh, leopards. Oh, that is false. Okay, let's see your answers. Okay, remember we can make mistakes. There's no problem. One, two, three. Good job. Okay, you can pause the video and I can continue. Then you can play once again and continue watching it. Thank you. Well, so, we finished this part, no? Remember, true or false. Ah, but there were some false sentences. Okay, those false sentences, you are going to do it in our class on Friday. Okay, you are going to answer me. Now, let's see. Here I have number six, speaking. Were in pairs or small groups? and answer those questions. Okay, remember, we're talking about the Kalahari in Africa with wild animals, lions, leopards, hyenas, and etc. Would you like to go 
to the Kalahari? Why or why not? Okay, in this case, you have two possible answers. Yes, I would. Or no, I wouldn't. Would, like the first word, no? Yes, I would. Or no, I wouldn't. For example, in my case, in my opinion, I would say, yes, I would. Why? Because I like to know new places. Or could be, I like to to see wild animals. I would like to see a lion. No, there are many answers. Number two. Remember, you need to answer those questions. Okay, I'm, I'm giving you examples. What wildlife are you interested in? What wildlife? No, I love to, I wouldn't love to because I'm not interested. I think it's too dangerous. Okay, the, case, the question is what wildlife are you interested in? For example, are you interested in, in the Kalahari? Yes or not? If you're interested, you can say, I'm interested in, and you start telling me your ideas. Interest in, for example, watching white animals. You can say, I am interested in helping people from Africa. Remember, Africa is a poor continent. Okay? Now, there are many ideas I'm interested in. I think it's too dangerous. Too. It's too dangerous because there are a lot of wild animals. No, you can say, you can say, I love, I hate, not think the photos, uh, sorry, taking photos. I love taking photos. I hate taking photos, watching or staying. So the idea is to try to answer those questions. No, remember, this is one activity from our uh, class. Okay, yeah, this is our second activity. The first one was true or false. Now, number six. Well, written check, think values, valuing our world, valuing is that we need to get our world, written check the statements that show that the natural world is important. Remember, the idea is to check the statements that show that natural world is important. Why should I want to go to safari? There's a nice zoo in my city. Well, uh, I can see a lot of animals. Uh, that is a, it's an statement that shows that natural war is important. Mm -hmm. Okay, you check or not. Number two, I, uh, I want to build a hotel for 800 people in the Kalahari Desert. We can make a lot of money like that. In your opinion, it's important. Number three, it's great to learn about wild animals. It helps me to understand more about the world. Okay, if you think this is important, you check. Who needs lions, leopards, and hyenas? They are dangerous animals. Hmm? I watch a lot of nature shows on TV. I support a project to save tigers in India. Okay. Now, let you are going to compare answers and then you are going to choose one of those statements and you're going to answer. For example, the statement one shows that the natural world is not important for this person. No? It, it, he says or she says, I'm going to the zoo to watch a, uh, a lion or a leopard. No, he doesn't care. Why do you think that? I can ask. Because the person doesn't want to see wild animals in nature. Remember, animals in, in a zoo are suffering. They are wild. No, they need nature. They need their uh, own place. Now, uh, the idea is to check and try to debate these uh, questions. Okay, class? Well, it's been a pleasure to work with you once again. Uh, remember, try to do your activities. Uh, see you soon. See you Friday. Thank you so much.
Bye bye.